Hey guys, today we're going to look at a relay. So basically, this is a, one, a relay off one of my lorries and was doing some crazy things. So I diagnosed it and it look, it obviously traced it back to a relay. So basically, it's a 24 volt 5 pin relay. Um, they do come in 4 pin and also 3 pin, but most common is 4. This is a 5. Um, I'll show you the difference after. Now, what I'm going to do, I'm going to show you what is actually wrong with this relay. So don't be afraid of opening these things up, guys. They're very, very simple. Um, obviously, you don't want to damage them, but just be careful and just open them up and you can take a look inside and make sure they're working. So I'm going to take a little screwdriver and on two sides, you will see a gap. Now, what you need to do is put the screwdriver in the gap and prise the casing. Now, all of a sudden, you will see it will pop out a bit. Now, what I'm going to do is turn him around, apply pressure to where I just popped him out and obviously pop the other side and grab the contacts and just pull the relay out of the cover. So there is my relay now. Um, quite simple guys um, obviously this one's a 24 volt but 12 24 volt is exactly the same so um, obviously in the automotive industry so basically I don't know if you can see it there now but I'll point it out to you these contacts inside have completely melted together so basically the contact the plate and the underneath contact are completely melted as one and that is my problem so I focus it in there for you you, know, you can see so basically all this lot by here, obviously the plate doesn't move um, you'll see in a moment when I show you a new one that it should and that is my problem so if I take a new relay and I turn it around and show you what the difference so obviously the same exactly the same relay here but obviously a new one um, if I take a screwdriver you'll see that plate on top you've got the coil obviously which um, receives power and acts as a magnet and pulls the plate towards it and then when that magnetizes and pulls that plate down it basically switches so see how that switches there now from the one contact to the other so that's why it's a five pin it's obviously when it's off it's on the one side and when the magnet from the coil pulls it it creates contact on the other pin that simple guys real easy um, as you can see it's nice and firm it's got a lovely little click in action and that's how it should be um, obviously mine has seen better days so yeah so just to show you again now you, as you can see it's completely melted and you can see the contact as even from the heat has started to bend away from the plate and it's actually melted a bit of a circle into the plate as well which I'll be honest with you guys this is the first time I've ever seen this happen and I thought it was quite interesting so thought I'd make a video for you guys so you could have a little look um, you can see a bit of corrosion there inside and to tell you the truth I think that's what's happened I think my connections have got a bit corroded they've obviously got hot and I think they've melted so there you go guys so I uh, hope you enjoyed this video I hope you uh, liked a bit of a insight into relays and faulty ones and uh, yeah please like and subscribe guys have a good day